shortly after 9 a.m. on Wednesday, the 23rd of May, 1618, Wilhelm Slavata found himself hanging from a window of the Hrachin Castle in Prague. This was not a predicament the 46-year-old aristocrat had encountered before. As president of the Bohemian Treasury and a Supreme Court judge, he was a senior figure in the royal government with a distinguished career in the service of the ruling Habsburg dynasty. Thanks to his marriage to the heiress, Lucia Ottilia, he was also one of the richest men in the entire kingdom. Moments before his equally distinguished colleague, Yaroslav Borita van Martinitz, had been seized by five armed men. Martinitz's pleas to be allowed a confessor had merely enraged his assailants, who flung him unceremoniously headfirst from the same window from which Slavata now clung, dangling precariously above the 17-metre drop to the ditch below. Angry voices in the room indicated no prospect of human help. At that moment, Slavata felt the sharp cut of metal as someone smacked a sword hilt against his fingers. The pain became too much, his grip loosened, and he plummeted downward, cracking the back of his head open on the sill of a lower window. As he disappeared into the void, his attackers noticed his secretary, Philip Fabricius, his arms clutched around one of the less intimidating members of the gang. Ignoring his pleas for mercy, he was summarily dispatched out of the window to share his master's fate. That, however, turned out other than intended. While Slavata landed squarely at the bottom of the ditch, Martinitz had fallen further up. He now slithered down to help his friend, injuring himself on the way down with his own sword that his attackers had neglected to unbuckle. Shots rang out from the window above, but Martinitz managed to help the dazed Slavata to his feet, and together they escaped to the nearby Lobkowitz Palace, home of the Bohemian Chancellor who had been absent from their disrupted meeting. Two men were sent to finish them off, but Lobkowitz's wife, Polixena, bolted the door and eventually persuaded them to go away. Martinitz fled across the frontier to Bavaria the next day, but Slavata's injuries prevented him from leaving immediately, and he was forced to hide. Fabricius, who amazingly had landed on his feet, meanwhile raced to Vienna, heart of the Habsburg monarchy and political center of the Holy Roman Empire, to alert the emperor. This event has entered history as the defenestration of Prague that triggered the Bohemian Revolt, the commonly accepted start of the Thirty Years' War that claimed eight million lives and transformed the political and religious map of Europe.